Infield with more field event news. All right, Tim, a little uh, cleanup, a little housekeeping in the men's pole vault. Brad Walker won it. He has the A standard. He's going. Jeremy Scott, by virtue of, of finishing second, even though he has just the B standard, he also goes. Jack Witt does have an A standard height from this year, so he will also be on the team. So your first, second, and third finishers do go on the team to Moscow in the men's pole vault. Tim? Well, time now for the big men to come out and strut their stuff. The BMW men's 100 meter final here at US Championships. Arguably the greatest sprint nation in the world. The Jamaicans might have something to say to that with uh, Mr. Bolt competing in their championships this very weekend. But this race will be classy. It'll be high caliber and there's a, a lot of needle going on here between Tyson Gay in lane four and uh, Justin Gatlin in lane three. If the win stays legal, I think we can see something very special here. There is Tyson Gay. Well, in lane one, Trell Kimmins, fourth in his semi-final, squeezed through to this uh, final with a 10-0-2, but uh, he's an outsider in every way. Always gets out well. He has to be able to finish better if he wants to make a team. Dantarius Locke goes in lane two. NCAA championship runner-up has a legal 997 this year. Has to pr probably set a personal best again. The former Florida State star. Justin Gatlin goes in lane three. Former Olympic champion beat Usain Bolt last week, but well beaten by Gay an hour ago. I think this is the only person that has even a chance at getting close to Tyson Gay because of his experience and his ability to stick to his script and go through his phases patiently. Tyson Gay goes in lane four, and isn't it great to see him back to his best? It really is, because since 2007, when he was triple world champion, he has really struggled with injuries, the second fastest man of all time, but back to the form that saw him world champion six years ago. Well, Charles Silman goes in lane five. He's maybe one who could get in there. Yes, I think based on how he ran this last two rounds, as well as being obviously NCAA champion, this is somebody ready to break through, maybe sub 10, and could make this team very, very easily. Rakim Salam, 9.86 in his semi-final. It was windy. He likes this track. His personal best is on this track, 9.97, when he finished second two years ago here at the NCAA championships. Mike Rogers goes in lane seven. Bit of an indoor specialist, but 9.90 in his summer. And he's run 9.85. There's no reason why he shouldn't be very much a contender to make this team. And Isaiah Young out in lane eight was fourth in his semi, like Trell Kimmons, way over in lane one. He ran a winded 9.93 in his semi final. Well, they were very, very much wind assisted times in the semi finals, but I. Just have the feeling that Tyson Gay's got another gear at least in reserve. Yeah. In social media, a lot of people are talking 9-6. I don't know. It's possible. Tyson Gay is really in scintillating form. It really is the best I think he has looked since he got silver to Usain Bolt at the World Championships in 2009 in 9.71. Well, right behind the athletes, there's a couple of stars and stripes flying high on the perimeter of the stadium. And they are blowing pretty healthily. There's a gusting breeze here. It could be legal, but let's, let's keep our fingers crossed on that. So the BMW men's 100 meters. Kimmins in one, Lock in two, Gatlin goes in three, Gay there in the pink in four, Silman five, Salam six, Rogers seven, Young in lane eight. Not a particularly good start from Tyson Gay, much better start from Silman beside him in the yellow. Now Guy, Tyson Gay coming through, Justin Gatlin leading at the first 50, but Gay comes through in the second half, as ever, to a strong, strong win there, 9.76, and just checking the win wow. there, it was 1.1, that is a very legal time. 9.75 has been Gay. rounded down to. So Tyson Gay has run the third fastest time he's ever run. We told you he was back. That confirms that Tyson Gay is back in the form that he was in six years ago. Justin Gatlin up for second in 9.89. But as I figured, there really is nobody, I think, in the world thus far that has shown themselves to be in the kind of form that Tyson Gay is in. 9.75 and only a 1.1 wind behind it. He looks like he's ready to threaten his personal best of 9.69. Silman third, 998. Bolt, of course, is rounding into form. Saw a winner 200 pretty impressively in 197 last week in a cold Oslo. There is Tyson Gay in four. And as you said, he did not get a particularly good start. Gatlin had a gap on him. But look at that 200 meter strength come out now. 
He just blows right by Gatlin. No contest in this race. There's Gay. If Tyson Gay could figure out the first 10 meters this year, not only I think could he really threaten Bolt and the Jamaicans, but I think he could really take a shot at the American record and possibly the world record. This is a fantastic run by Tyson Gay. 9.75. It actually breaks the championship record that he held of 9.77 from five years ago. Well, the fastest time in the world this year by Tyson Gay by about a meter of the blue track here in uh, the stadium. Tyson Gay from Justin Gatlin, Charles Silman third, 998. In fourth place, Rogers, Mike Rogers, 998, and he doesn't even make the team. Well, Lewis is with uh, the winners down on the infield, Tyson Gay. All right, a bunch heading to Moscow, Russia, representing the United States. Well, Tyson, when you look up at the clock and you see 975 after all you've been through, what are your thoughts? I feel good. Um, I'm happy, joyful moment, I'm healthy, and I just had a good race. From 2007, when you won the three uh, titles and all the injuries you've been through, describe the road to get back to this moment and now the next stage, which will be in Moscow. Man, the road was tough, but I had a great family support and friends and a great team around me helped me get through it. Justin, you had a complete uh, performance here, strong semifinal. What are your thoughts on the final here? You know, I just wanted to go out there and just try to make it through the rounds. I was, obviously I was injured. I what had, was that for? Um, my hamstring, lower hamstring right there with the kinesio tape, and I just want to come out here and just wrap it up and just pray to God and go, man. You're on the team. You beat Bolt earlier in the season. What do you think promise holds for you uh, at, when August approaches? You know, it's, it's far away. It's a long season. I'm going to get healthy, and I'm going to go back and back to the uh, drawing board and do some more stuff and just go out there and try to get on that podium again. All right, well, I think the young man next to you is going to need a little bit of help as you kind of coach him through the next phase, the next step. Charles, you had a tremendous national championships coming off the collegiate series. How did you put this race together and make this team? Um, you know, I just I just kept my faith in God. You know, I came in um, a little a little bumped, mm -hmm. a little messed up. So, you know, like all last week I just went to the training room and, kept getting train, training, I mean, treatment and stuff like that. So, you know, I was just blessed to, to make it through these rounds and make a team. All right, congratulations. We'll see you in Russia. Thank you. All right. Tim? Well, thank you, Lewis. Uh, yeah, there's some special sprinting there, both men's and women's races. Let's deal with those men first of all. The time spectacular, the wind's keeping it legal, and uh, have we seen Tyson Gay coming back to maybe producing PRs later in the summer? I don't think there's any question about it. As it always is, the question for Tyson Gay is, can he stay healthy? And so far, he's doing a good job of managing his racing. You don't see him racing everywhere. If he can stay healthy, I think he is ready to, to go well into 9-6. An English gardener, there's a little bit of the Alison Felix about her. She's 21 years old but that was a quick time too yeah, there's no question about it English Gardner has arrived there are a lot of people who don't make the transition from college to pros English Gardner is definitely ready to face the pros with